Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles. And do you understand spray nozzles? Well, if you do not, Dr. Travis Legleiter is with us today, University of Kentucky Extension weed scientist. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Travis, I'm glad you're here today because you're going to clear up some of this mystery. You know, <laughs> nozzles are so important at, with coverage and making sure that the product works properly. Um, but there's so many different options. There are, there are. And, and like you mentioned, we spend a lot of time talking about which herbicides to spray and when and where to spray them. A lot of times we don't even get to this part, but this is one of the most important parts is getting it to the plant. So um, there are a lot of options out there. These are just a few options. It's even wider breadth than this, but just kind of understanding a couple of simple concepts can get you a long ways in, in understanding some of those terms that are in some of your catalogs when you're talking to a salesman who's, who's uh, you're trying to buy nozzles from. And you know, a lot of times when a spray product hasn't worked the way we expected it to, we go back to how it was applied. Right, yeah. And so talk a little bit about, I mean, these are all kinds of nice little colors, kind of looks like little Lego bits, but <laughs> right. I'm sure that means something. Right, right. right. It's, it's not that, uh, I just choose a red nozzle because I have a case IH sprayer, right? You know, uh, there is actual reason for these different colors of nozzles. So each color represents a different size of nozzle. And you're looking at those and saying those all look the same size. And when I say size, I'm talking about the orifice or the hole mm -hmm. that the spray solution comes out of. So if you start with the green, it's basically putting out 0.15 gallons per minute at 40 PSI. And as you go up, this puts out 0.2. This is a 0.4 and this is a point three here. So uh, depending on what your calibration is, you choose your nozzle based on how much you wanna put out. So that's a whole different topic, but each color nozzle is a different size of nozzle and that's universal across manufacturers. So the big thing is make sure you choose the right size of nozzle. And when you're looking at your spray boom, all of your nozzles should be the same color. If, if you have different colors on there, that's no good from the get-go. Yeah, because you're going to have different amounts, right? You're, yeah, you'll have different amounts coming out of those. Yeah, so your colors are important. That's good to know that yeah. they're universal. Now, is this one, I would assume, is different than these? Yeah, yeah. So this one's a different, a little bit different shape. So the biggest difference between these three, these four here and this one here is uh, these are single stage nozzles and these are two stage nozzles so okay. uh, what we're talking about there is so these are the nozzles that we're really used to our traditional flat fan nozzles and basically if you were to look at these or kind of cut these in half there's basically uh, it's real simple there's one hole right and in that hole it has two jobs it meters out the amount of product that comes out so we talked about the size so it's mm -hmm. a different size and then it's shaped to give us that flat fan so if you're looking at your nozzle you get that flat fan pattern and so with these you have basically one hole that does both of those jobs mm -hmm. and with these types of nozzles with that kind of uh, design pressure plays a large factor in a size of a droplet so the higher the pressure the smaller the droplets if we lower our pressure we get bigger droplets with this nozzle here it's what we call a two-stage nozzle or it has a pre orifice so all we mean by pre orifice is basically again if you were to take this and and pull this apart you have an exit orifice and then you also have an entry orifice so two holes uh, the first one meters the amount, so that's your size. And then the second one, its only job is to give us that spray pattern. And when you separate those jobs, we're less dependent on the pressure to give us droplet size. So as we increase our pressure, we don't influence our droplet size as much. We still do, but not nearly as much. So this is a TT nozzle from T-Jet. Um, and so it's a pre orifice design. It has a couple other little characteristics in it as well. But overall, we would just say, this is, at, if you picked a pattern between this one and this one, you would get a very similar or uh, pressure. This will give you a smaller droplet. This will give you a little bit larger dr droplet. Okay. All right. So a, a little a little bit more functionality with this A little this bit more one. functionality. Okay. Yep. Now, what about these over these here? These over here. So these are all examples of air induction nozzles. Okay. So, that sounds real fancy. Yeah. It fa <laughs> sounds fancy. And we have a lot of air induction nozzles coming to the market now. So uh, this one here is one of the originals, but air induction, basically we're drawing air into the solution before it comes out that exit orifice. And these are all two stage nozzles as well. Gives us again, a larger droplet pattern and a more consistent droplet pattern. So uh, these are T-Jets and these are a couple from High Pro. Bigger droplets, less drift. And when we start talking about products like Dicamba, these are the things we wanna look at. And these are two nozzles that we can use with Dicamba because they lower drift. All right. And then real quick, what's your last one here? This is a TTI nozzle. This kind of packages all of these together, gives us the largest droplet we have, 
nozzle again approved for dicamba uh, application largest droplets we can put out all right so all kinds of different nozzles did you know there were so many and so many options if you have questions make sure to contact your local extension office and if we don't know the information we can call dr travis and find out we appreciate you watching the farm and home show and have a great day if you have questions about today's topic please call the warren county extension office at the number on your screen thanks for watching and have a great day